Hello everyone and welcome back to Maximum Automation. As we discussed in our last video, SpecFlow is deprecated and we now need to migrate to Ragnarol. So to continue with our existing approach, today I'm going to show you how we can migrate from SpecFlow to Ragnarol. It's going to be pretty easy if you are using SpecFlow version 4 as Ragnarol is built on top of that. If you're using an earlier version of SpecFlow, there may be some breaking changes, but the process should be same. So to migrate from SpecFlow, here's what you need to do. Let's say I have this project where I'm using these step definitions with DBDD approach. I have all these step definitions created using SpecFlow. So what I need to do is, I'll go to the dependency section of the project and then here you can see I have different dependencies for SpecFlow as well as the version I'm using for my framework. To migrate, we need to update these dependencies from SpecFlow to Ragnarol. So for that, let me go to the NuGet package manager and I'll search for the Ragnarol package. So we can see all these dependencies coming with the name of Rect and Roll. So we need to install most of the dependencies one by one. First of all, I'll add the Rect and Roll dependencies. Uh, so I'm going to install this one. So whatever the execution method you are using, you need to add the corresponding dependencies. Because I was using the end unit framework to run my test with this spec flow. So I'm going to install this Rect and Roll dot end unit. So I used to run my test with SpecFlow using NUnit. So I'll replace it with Ragnarol NUnit. But if you're using any other framework like XUnit or MS Test, you can replace the corresponding package for that framework. For me, since I'm using NUnit, so I'm going to install Ragnarol.NUnit package. Now let's check the plugin. You can see that both Ragnarol and Ragnarol end unit are installed. I don't need to install end unit separately because it's already part of the Ragnarol package. You can see in the dependency. You can also remove any existing end unit dependencies since we already have the Ragnarol end unit package installed. Ragnarol contains both the end unit and the MS build generation dependencies. So we are good to go. Now that we have installed the necessary packages, so let's move to the next step. We need to remove the spec flow dependencies. So let's remove these dependencies now. I'm going to go to the CS project file and from there I'll select all the old packages and I'm going to remove them. I'm going to comment out these packages for the reference instead of deleting them directly from the package explorer because this is going to help us to track the old packages in case something is going to break after we migrate. So this is going to help us that what we were using as part of the old packages. Once the SpecFlow projects are removed, we'll start receiving the errors. You can see uh, now we are seeing those errors here. The error messages will say something like the type or namespace could not be found. For example, in this step definition, we were using given from techtalk.specflow. So moving forward, we need to replace techtalk.specflow with Ragnarol. So I'll change that namespace from techtalk.specflow to Ragnarol. Once I make that change, you can notice that most of the errors has been resolved. However, we still have one error related to the table conversion. The error message says, cannot convert from table to techtalk.specflow table. To fix this, we need to change table to data table. The table class now belongs to the Ragnarol namespace. And to ensure backward compatibility, we can still use table. But the suggestion is to transition to data table going forward. So after making these changes, the error related to the table will be resolved. If you go to the implementation, you'll see that you are using a table object before. Now we need to replace it with Ragnarol.data table. 
So let me do that now. Once I change the table to data table, the error goes away. Going forward, we should always use data table instead of table to avoid any compatibility issues. This change ensures that we don't break the framework in future updates. Now, let's look at a feature file to see how everything is running. In this feature file, I'm running tests to verify the price of a book on Amazon. These tests are running on the browser. And I'm not sure if the prices are accurate because they were taken a while back, but let's try running the test again. So I'm going to open the test explorer and I'll select the book verification feature. I have two scenarios. One is for C sharp and another one is for Java book. I'll run the C sharp test to see if we encounter any issues or errors. If everything runs smoothly without errors, then the migration is complete. The test should now execute successfully. The Chrome browser will open and it will search for the book on Amazon. So we can see the browser has been invoked and the test is running. It means that we have successfully migrated from Specflow to Ragnarol. So migrating from Specflow to Ragnarol was quite simple. The main task involved updating the namespace installing the necessary dependencies and adjusting the way we work with tables. The migration ensured that the framework continues to work with the new Ragnarol package. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.